Bruce Lee and Dan Hendo Henderson. So we get another look at this high-level wrestler here tonight, DC. When it comes to the grappling, the wrestling, fighting this guy makes for a really hard night at the office. It makes for a hard night because the moment he gets close to you, it's like a fly stuck in flypaper. He sticks to you like glue. He moves from position to position seamlessly. He possesses great takedowns from the clinch, from a nice inside trip to a bear hug or a throw. He's just one of those guys that the moment he comes into contact with you, a lifetime of wrestling has shown him an amazing ability to get you to the floor. Yeah, all of that one-on-one -on -one competition, as you mentioned, great in transition. Big spot, needless to say, for him here tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height and a similar reach. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is one round in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a Greco-Roman wrestler holding a professional record of 32 wins, 15 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Temecula, California, Dan Hendo! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. The veteran Herb Dean draws the assignment here. Ready. Ready to fight? All right, so the fight is now underway. On one side, you have a fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. It's going to be interesting to see how long he can get up there. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Nice punch by Lee. He blocks the punch. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range though with it. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the oh. guy. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is the opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up and once he's in there, his opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. And when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. 
He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Oh, and he got tagged by that combination. His coach said on Thursday to us, it has to be punches and punches. It has to be volume. And his student has certainly followed up on that imperative. So much volume, but the accuracy, the accuracy of this fighter is truly unbelievable. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. He's looking to land the right, just to right now, his opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. This dude needs to grab. He needs to rest. He has to do something. He cannot take another shot like that. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, working inside the now open guard of his opponent. Uh-oh. up a triangle. The guy on his back is very good at submissions, and if he's not careful here, he's gonna get stuck and he will have to submit. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Nice hammer fist. And he's back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the get-ups. Big and kick. Leg kick. Not there. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. So he's really starting to put together some significant. Over the top, this fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very bad. What a punch. One, two punch by Henderson. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Up shot that will finish the fight. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape DC. Back to the feet. Got the single collar tie. Oh, effective strike there by Lee. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. Oh, bone on bone, shin slash foot right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those aren't fun. I'm telling you, man, you get kicked in the head a lot of times, it's the end of the night. Got a little experience. Yes, I do. Horrible. And he continues to work the body here. Oh, that right hand is on point. Anderson gets hit with a kick. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, get fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50-50 because nobody has the advantage. Who's gonna be the one to find that one little area that they can expose to give them the slightest advantage. Big fall from punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Henderson's lower jaw now starting to show signs of strength. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Blocks the shot. Single collar tie now. 
he gets to his... Oh! Oh, got it! He got it! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish this fight. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Oh, look at that. He bumped up and landed the diving punch to the head. Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Trying to establish that jab once again. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Big power shot there. Another one. Yep. Up oh, and the left hand. Changes his stance. Discouraging as he gets right back up again. Oh! He's out! Holy smokes! What a fight! A near perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So, just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week played out here on fight night, he found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has called a stop to this contest. Declaring the winner by knockout, Dan Henderson! Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I gotta think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out. Yeah, you should.